Hello everybody, so Akai finally released a 2.11 firmware update for the whole MPC series and including here my Live 2 which I use here for demonstrating it but it works with all the Akai MPCs which are still supported by Akai. Question is, I'm not sure about the new MPC key 61. So if someone already got this, I would really love to hear feedback if my support for Bitwig is also working with that device. In 2.11, I kind of fixed the issue with the cooling knobs, which did sadly not work so far, but now they work fine. And what can you do with it? You can control the tracks, volumes, and the parameters. This is always the same across these three screen modes, because this works more like a data pool, which I fill with data, and then firmware arranges this on a screen. So the buttons always do the same, no matter which of the three modes you have selected. And what the knobs do are here shown if you long press the cooling button. So you can see the first two rows, so the first two sets of cooling parameters always control the currently selected page of tracks and the other two rows, three and four, always control the currently selected parameter bank. Let's see how that works, so playback. And here you can see that we can change here the first four tracks as well as that. And what also does work is that you can reset the volumes to the default value so you can keep the erase button pressed and just touch the knob and it will go back to their default values. Same if you go for the second, you control the next four tracks as well. Moving on here to the parameters, we have selected a device and we see here the parameters and then you need to go to the third or to the fourth to control them and then you can also use those knobs to change the parameters as well. So and as I said, this works in all the modes. So if you are here in the launch thing, you still can change the parameters of the selected device, which I think is a bit of an advantage. And also here the erase button does work, so you can also here keep the erase button pressed and it will go back to the default value if you just touch them, which is, I think, pretty helpful for a live performance. So a little update for that, but I think great extension that this is finally working. This makes it even a better tool as a controller for Bitwig as well as Reaper. And until next time, make some funky music.